in this lecture we are going to learn about one interesting and very useful concept about the spark that is we called it as a infer schema now what is this infer schema let's try to understand so for that i'm just going to take one example let's say you have one csv file is there which is having some records like id name and salary okay so we have id called one two three and salary name is like a b c and salary is one thousand two thousand and three thousand what you are going to do you are going to load this data frame because data frame is always dealing with the structural kind of data right so this is a kind of structural data so you are loading it into one data frame so you got all this data into the data frame now once you got this data frame once you got this data into this data frame what will happen it will also have the id name and salary column will be there but do you know about the type of this data no we don't know so if, when you are writing down the code and you have not specified the type of your column the type of your column like this id what is the type it should be integer in our case it should be string and it should be string so this is our expectation but we have not defined it anywhere in the code what i want i want python to take care about this data file i want python or pyspark to take care about the data type of this data so in that case we are using the terminology we called it as a infer schema equals to true by default it is false so what will happen along with the options if you are using infer schema equals to true by looking to the data itself by looking to the data so by looking to the data itself we can say like okay this should be integer this should be your integer i made a mistake here this should be integer actually and this should be your string so if you are not using this infer schema then what will happen then it will make that id name and salary by default string which is again the wrong right because id and salary should be an integer or number format right that's the way let's try to see this in practically so that you'll understand the things very clearly so this is my small program what i'm doing i am just calling one method we called it as a read data i just created one method which is basically reading my one file let me go there file read file read dot py okay once i'm coming here what i can see that i'm reading the data so i'm using spark dot read dot format csv i'm going to read one csv file where header equals to true and this is a location which i am loading it okay so this this is one delhi metro data is there which is having some details and i'm just doing the print schema so let's see what will happen if i'm running this then what will happen we'll be able to see the data along with the this schema so it is just loading a data let me show you a little bit in big size so here you can see station line latitude and longitude there are four columns are there in this csv file and all the columns has been assigned with the data type as string only which is a default one but what i want based on the data the pyspark should be able to understand what should be the data type of it i don't want to assign it with the help of struct we can do that with the help of struct you can assign your schema but let's say you are in a situation where you want pyspark to take care so for that what you can do you can add one more parameter called dot option here infer schema equals to true dot let me remove this dot option which i added very small concept but really important okay looks fine now see previously all the data type was even line and longitude obviously we know that longitude and latitude will be in float but still it is showing is like this now if i enable the option in for schema equals to 2 i have enabled this option let's see what will happen now we are our job is running it is reading the data creating a data frame and finally you can see station and line 
this is obviously a data which will come in string but latitude and longitude always you know dots will be there right so we can see it is in double now so this is the beauty of the inter infer schema if you want me to show you the result of the data i can show you like this not show let me save it and let me run it once i'm running that you will find that the data of the longitude and latitude is coming in the float and the rest of the data will be in string let me show you okay so here you can see if you see the data see obviously it is a double data double means the dots is there right it's a double data and this is a string so automatically this string data type has been taken care by the PySpark all right i hope this is clear if you are looking for spark trends please let me know thank you so much guys please do like subscribe and share the channel bye bye